This video is probably the simplest and the fastest explanation of how the PID controller works. The PID controller is used to control the state of the system. By the system we should understand a device or a set of devices that are capable of changing one of the properties of itself or the environment. For example, speed, position, acceleration, temperature, flow, or anything like that. Every PID controller has two inputs. The measurement, which represents the current state of the system, and the set point, which represents a target state of the system. Both the set point and the measurement are used to compute the error. The error is defined as set point minus measurement. The output of the PID controller is a sum of three of its components, proportional, integral derivative. The proportional component is trying to keep the current error at zero and the output of the proportional component is the current error times the proportional gain. The integral component is the sum of all the past errors times the integral gain. The integral component will compensate for factors like wind, gravity, energy loss. Everything that is constant but relatively small. The derivative depending on the type of the controller can be either a derivative of the error or the derivative of the measurement. The derivative components dampens the response and smoothens the transition. For example, it's capable of lowering the signal to the actuator even before the set point was reached, so we do not go into the oscillation when the controller overshoots the target. The last step after the proportional integral and the derivative components were computed is to sum them up and send as the input to the actuator. The final thought about the PID controller is while they might not be the perfect solution to every problem, they are however relatively simple to tune and if tuned correctly they get the job done. I'm Paweł Spychalski, thank you very much for watching and happy flying!